Hey guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil. And has it been seven days? Yeah, I think so because I just collected my seven-day reward um, probably a few hours ago, and um, I've had some time to you know digest what I think. And um, to start off, um, more or less, what we're gonna talk about are my impressions and feelings on how. The game is progressing on my side, my impressions while I'm playing, and probably some, you know, some things that you should know before you play this during launch. Okay, number one is the grind is very real. Leveling up and progression is kind of challenging. I'm not saying it's difficult. It's very challenging because... Um, Let's say, for example, here, I still have unfinished uh, weapon here to level up. Weapons require a lot of, you know, a lot of materials from weapons. Uh, you're going to go with talent. Even talent requires you a lot of materials as well. Similar materials and even character skill. Again, similar materials. And what else do you need to level up? You also need to level up gear. I'm calling this gear. Play equip to your equipment. You have to level them up as well. So once you level them up, you upgrade. It also requires a lot of these pens. So what I'm saying is it's going to be such a grind every day that sometimes I don't feel that I'm playing. I'm I'm it's it's like I feel that I'm only grinding to level up my characters. That is how I feel at this point. So without the constant rewards, because right now um, the game has several rewards. Um, they're calling it lunchtime and evening rewards or lunch or evening rewards. Some They have two rewards in one day. That makes the progression or the character progression even easier. But what if we don't have these awards? So that is actually a big question. In terms of launch, will we have the same lunchtime and evening rewards for um, for materials? If not, then it, it it's going to be a struggle. So, again, um, without the rewards, it's going to be a big hill, uh, a big uphill climb. So some some stages even require, uh, let's say for example, let's do one stage here. Um, not this one. Let's do one stage for Burning Phoenix. So I'm already here in Rekindled Flame. Although I am already here. Let's enter this. So each stage, um, uh, each farming stage sometimes um, has a, a group of enemies with a pure element. Let's say, for example, they're all going to be fire. So more or less, if even if you have um, the required level, sometimes it's difficult to overcome the stage because the element that you are using is weak against them. So this is your element tree. So not one class. So let's start for that for, for for this one. If your enemy is pyro then you should have Hydro on your team, at least one or two. But if you don't have any, and if most of your you know, characters that you collected are Animo, which is Air, it's actually difficult to clear it. I can't even... And you if you can only farm a stage if it's only three star. If you don't three star stage, then you cannot farm it automatically. You have to do it manually. So that's the drawback about... Um, not clearing the stages so right now um more or less this is a sample fight let's do this let's clear this while we're we're discussing so again some stages require characters with with the uh, with uh, elements stronger than your enemies so um not weaker than your enemies formation is also key in some stages like for example this formation is my basic formation i do have several formations um, that I am using. I have several DPSs. I have several front lines. I have several back lines already prepared. 
because I found out that some stages require you to finish it as soon as possible. And um, some, some of the stages are a time trial, especially for, I think it was for credits. So that is um, the key also to grinding this game. So, but to be honest with you guys, one thing that I am happy about with this game is actually it's very smooth on an emulator. So as for the battle system, um, it's smoother really on an emulator on my end because again, uh, my phone is old and I it, it sometimes is laggy on my phone. But for the emulator, I don't think I have a problem with this one. But I will quit this one because I know I'm not winning. But anyway, if you if we go back to the main menu, um, as you can see, the interface is and the loading times are a bit quicker. Um, you just have to set your settings to very high and high FPS. Um, just have again, it depends on the specs of your phone or your computer. But more or less for the emulator, um, I'm using N64 or 64-bit version of uh, BlueStacks, um, the instance. So it actually runs good on N64. Okay, so also for for you know being smooth, manual mode is actually easier because you you know reaction times for manual are going to be quicker. So that is actually the plus. Ultimates are very slow to charge up. Let me see. Let's let us go to adventure and let us explore this. I haven't played adventure mode in a while. So we are here. Okay, so more or less again going back to the smoothness of the game. Let's I'm gonna play this on manual so that you can see the difference. Um, if it's smooth on manual, then your fighting would be more accurate. Slow this down. So you can actually see the battle more if if everything is as smooth as what I'm saying. This is smooth already, to be honest. Based on my phone, this is it was really really um, slow. So again, at least now I could enjoy the game better with more or less smoother um, gameplay on an emulator at this point. So as you can see, easier. You know, it's easy to pull out um, your skills and easy to execute. And what did I mention earlier? Okay, so ultimates are slow to charge. Let's check some action further. I just, I just want you to guys to look at the ultimate skill section here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to auto. So this four down here is your ultimate section. So. Um, what I notice is damage dealers really have a faster recharge for their ultimate, more or less. Sometimes you can't even reach up to the time that uh, you'll have to heal. Just gonna uh, redeem this and move to another stage up front. So again, the charging times of the ultimates are slow, particularly for healers. That is what is what, what I have observed. Um, so far, um, is it because that they are non-damage dealers that they have a slow recharge for their ultimates? Probably yes, probably no. And um, let's move to farming after this stage and uh, we'll see what is happening or what are my comments for farming. So, so far, as you can see, uh, going back to charging, healer is usually the last one to charge. So, Roko is still here. Okay, so let's get out of this one. I'm gonna leave this. Let's try farming for one character here. Okay, so let's go to the home screen. So, so far I am still farming for Floor. This is her weapon. 
So, okay, so this is what farming looks like. So let's say, for example, you are going to farm for this cube, going to do auto battle. Then it's going to be selecting you a stage that you have cleared three stars, then you can farm that. So, and the, the problem is the rates. If you can see there, it's going to be limited. It's going to be, the rate is, from what I've seen for limited, it's about 10%. So one out of 10, if I'm going to farm this 10 times, I'm going to get one. So that's, that's how crazy the rates are. So let's go, go back to the other. This one, I think is a bit uh, easier to farm. So your wind echo. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back. Let's go back a bit. Go back. Go back. For your wind echo, as you go in auto battle, automatically it, it selects. But again, you still have to clear some stages here on your regular clears for you to farm it. But more or less, what I'm saying is for every farming stage, there is no auto clear. You need to go to auto battle, and if you select, for example, number of clears, let's say for example ten, it's gonna it's gonna give you ten battles um, that you're gonna have to wait to finish. So that's how sad it is. So let's again, let's do let's say for example five here, and let's start. Again, it's it's so frustrating on, on the player's end. Because again, although it's doable to farm this way, but this adds to a little bit of, uh, you know, um, playing time, which is not really necessary at this point. If you've cleared the stage for three stars, why are you still clearing it over and over again just to farm for materials? So that is my point. So again, um, can we just have a clear button? And really, really, it takes a lot of time to play. So I'm just going to be finishing this one stage, then I'm out of here. So that is it for farming. Probably they could, they could you know, improve farming in the launch so that we can, you know, spend more time on progression and less time on farming. Okay, so next up is going to be content. So far, I'm happy with the content. You have your limited time burning phoenix. You have... Uh, what else is your content here? Um, so far, you have Outland. This has the, more con the most content. So you have six plus Realm of Fighters. You have around nine. Then you still have your troop. We're in this is your uh what do you call this your your dormitory type although there's no dormitory this is the, these are the structures that you need to go through to rehearse and everything um i don't think the game lacks in content um sometimes it's a question whether is too much content bad or good but for me i i think too much content is good down the line because once players are more advanced they will definitely be looking for content um, because, again, once players advance in level, they will need more challenges moving forward. So this is what I like with the game. Um, I think I don't think that too much content is the problem. As you can see here, even for the story, there are. Let's go to. Let's go to one. I actually cleared um, three levels of chapter one. So light sleep, deep sleep, and you have nightmare. So I'm cleared chapter one for three levels. Again, it's not a problem. Um, I find it really refreshing that we have three levels already uh, um, encoded in the game. So that is actually my comment on content. I don't think it's a problem. I think it's a good problem to have at this point okay so gameplay wise let's go back to burning phoenix let's do one stage here okay so gameplay for me at this point uh in terms of interaction in terms of overall uh what do you call this 
overall uh, playability of every scenario of every game. I think it's at 80% at this point. They just need to work on cooldowns. The story is actually okay. I don't mind the story. I'm usually neutral when it comes to story. A good story is actually a plus, but doesn't really it, 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 it isn't really a deal breaker for me. But they have to work on um, skill cooldowns. That's one. Um, especially for the ultimates. And um, the targeting. Because when you do manual, of course, you do targeting. So there you go. Sometimes it's 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 really hard to choose from your opponent and your enemy. Uh, sorry, your opponent and your allies because again, the bars are either green or yellow, and sometimes you cannot distinguish from the other, from one the other. So more or less, um, I'm really having fun with gameplay. Um, sometimes if I'm bored, I just do auto. If I'm up to it, I do manual as well. But preferably, the game is more fun with manual. It gives you a free hand on what to do um, strategy-wise, in placement-wise, in team, team building-wise. So again, the gameplay is at 80%. A little more you know, tweaking or fine-tuning will do good for the game. As far as gotcha is concerned... Okay, so personal experience for the gotcha. They have several banners here. You have one, two, three, four. I think this was uh, this was they already released a fifth one. That is why the the four the other one disappeared. So they're only showcasing four here. And this one, these banners are for the gear, um, gear. So or the place or whatever. So more or less the gotcha system. It, the pity system is good. Um, after 50, there's an incremental increase of 2% for every summon, which is nice. Um, also, I would have wished that they would they showcase new characters for the gotcha. These are old characters like Nunu, Euphoria, Sir Sled Screamer. They are old characters. Hopefully, they could have showcased the the newer characters in the banners because because right now although there are new players i don't have much of the new players on uh, the new players new characters so new characters are more or less preferable in the banners moving forward and again my experience for the gacha is actually very very disappointing i'll show you guys why so so far these are the ones that I've collected, the only new character here that um, I have is Armand. So only Armand because she's free, she's easy to get. I have her as far as the new characters down here below. Um, we have Mo Tesju. I don't have her. Um, this one as well. This is Follette. I don't have her. Rita is actually new. I don't have her as well. Uh, Basil is new. Sheru is... I don't know. I don't think so. Yori is no. Momel is new. Uh, who else is new? Caesar is new. She's actually cool. So it's hard, really hard to obtain new characters. And Liv is actually new. So going back to what I have. So this is my team. I got more or less a majority of the fire. Fire units I have. Air, I only have one in Cloire. I have uh, this girl. This girl is, uh, I think, uh, her element is Lumino, which is light. So Roko is light. You have Eluya, which is dark. And I just got Ume because I needed Ume for a fire stage. Because I couldn't clear it again. Because I don't have you know the necessary element to clear that stage. It was all fire. I needed water. Um, she is water. But I need one more. Probably going to level up um, for a change. I'm going to try to level up either Isa or Mireya soon. 
if I don't get some of these new characters down here. I'm so disappointed about what I have. But again, they, they, they're doing wonders for my team um, or for my clears. I don't have a complaint on that. It's just that I would have preferred new characters to use or to showcase for the CBT versus what I had before for the CBT or the first one or the first CBT. So this is what I have. So my core here is Roko. Uh, Cloar, Iluya, Armand, and Fen. So that is the five. I ha my first four would usually be Fen, Armand, Roko, and Iluya. That is it. Iluya, I purposely summoned for her for her banner because I I know I needed her, so I got her. The rest are just uh, non-targeted units that. The game gave me and you know i rolled with the dice so anyway i'm actually kind of happy with the team that i have i just wish that i had newer characters that's it so again guys that is my you know my uh what do you call this my opinion on the game after seven days and this is my account again if the game doesn't give out free goodies uh lunch uh, for during lunchtime and during evening time it's really a hard grind up to this point, but fortunately they're giving out free, you know, free packs during the uh, um, lunch and evening. That is why it's easier to level up. But what if they don't have it? So we'll see. We'll see during launch. So those are again my 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 opinions and my assessment and my review. The game for me is I think eighty to ninety percent finished. I just need to polish it up more before launch. So I'll have my my last review after the or during the 14th day because more or less I'll have a wider scope of the review, probably my final thoughts for the game and how this is going to be, you know, how this is going to be appreciated by the player base once this is launched. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.